Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the top 3 best Nikon cameras to buy in 2024. Through extensive research and testing I've put together a list of options that will meet the needs of different types of buyers. All the product links are given in the description below, so make sure to check them out if you are interested. Let's get started. Coming in at number 3 is the Nikon Z50. The Nikon Z50 is a compact and lightweight mirrorless camera that is perfect for travel and everyday photography. It features a 20.9 megapixel APS-C sensor, which delivers excellent image quality with good dynamic range and low-light performance. The camera has a fast autofocus system with 209 focus points, which makes it easy to capture sharp and detailed images of moving subjects. The Z50 also has a tilting touchscreen LCD, which is useful for shooting from different angles and reviewing your shots. One of the main advantages of the Z50 is its compatibility with Nikon's extensive range of F-mount lenses via an adapter. This means that you can use your existing lenses with the camera, which is great if you're already invested in the Nikon ecosystem. The camera also has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity, which makes it easy to transfer images to your smartphone or tablet for sharing on social media. However, there are some cons to this camera as well. Firstly, limited lens selection compared to other Nikon mirrorless cameras. Secondly, no in-body image stabilization, and thirdly, this camera has no dual memory card slots. Overall, if you're looking for a compact and lightweight camera for travel or everyday photography, the Z50 is an excellent choice. At number 2 we have the Nikon Z5. The Nikon Z5 is a full-frame mirrorless camera that offers excellent image quality and performance at an affordable price point. It features a 24.3 megapixel full-frame sensor, which delivers stunning image quality with excellent dynamic range and low-light performance. The camera has a fast autofocus system with 273 focus points, which makes it easy to capture sharp and detailed images of moving subjects. The Z5 also has built-in image stabilization, which helps to reduce camera shake when shooting handheld. This is particularly useful when shooting in low light or when using longer focal lengths. The camera has a tilting touchscreen LCD, which is useful for shooting from different angles and reviewing your shots. However, there are some cons to this camera as well. Firstly, limited lens selection compared to other Nikon mirrorless cameras, and secondly, this camera has no dual memory card slots. Overall, if you're looking for a full-frame camera at an affordable price point, the Z5 is an excellent choice. And finally number one, we have the Nikon Z7 II. This is a high-end full-frame mirrorless camera that offers exceptional image quality and performance. It features a 45.7 megapixel full-frame sensor, which delivers stunning image quality with incredible detail and dynamic range. The camera has a fast autofocus system with 493 focus points, which makes it easy to capture sharp and detailed images of moving subjects. The Z7 II also has built-in image stabilization, which helps to reduce camera shake when shooting handheld. This is particularly useful when shooting in low light or when using longer focal lengths. The camera has a tilting touchscreen LCD, which is useful for shooting from different angles and reviewing your shots. However, there are some cons to this camera. Firstly, expensive compared to other Nikon mirrorless cameras, and secondly, large file sizes can be challenging to manage on slower computers or storage devices. Overall, if you're looking for the ultimate in image quality and performance, the Z7 II is an excellent. So there you have it, the top 3 best Nikon cameras to buy in 2024. Which one would you choose? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon to get notified of my future uploads. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.